It's my feel good breakfast show. <laughs> Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can only mean one thing. It can only mean one thing. <laughs> yeah. It is the Valentine's Day edition of the Culinary Hotline Bling! Sing, 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 sing baby! And you boy, happy Valentine's Day. I was heavier Day. than you thought, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's always wonderful to, to have you here, and yeah. thank you so much for joining us and it's treating us to your expertise uh, of all things culinary as we, we delve into mm. Valentine's Day. Is, is it a special day for you? Um, not that much. One thing I can say, though, is Happy birthday, Ma Ella, because it's her birthday today. Oh my my mom in law's birthday. Oh, yeah. wow. Happy. <laughs> so you, you still maintain a very good relationship with mom in law, clearly. Of course. She's awesome. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to her. She too. makes right. Valentine's Day special for me. So, how about you at home? Let us know what makes Valentine's Day special for you. What would you like for Valentine's Day? But um, do, you, do you think that the food industry embraces? Valentine's Day as much mm. as everyone else does because it is quite a big day I like from re it retail almost, almost a little bit too much Too don't much? You think? Yeah. Don't say that. It's very commercial. Yeah? Um, I think that you know it's a bit of a chicken and egg situation because you've got people who want all of those Valentine-y things so the industry brings it yeah and then it gets a bit out of control so mm -hmm. then it gets expensive and then you can't find the stuff you want. like if you want to book a restaurant mm -hmm. you can't you yeah book, that's like, true it's too late like it, months exactly. before and then they charge you the earth yeah but restaurants don't really love Valentine's Day because, okay. you know, it's a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure <laughs> to deliver on the day. Okay, so what, from a food point of view for you, mm. is the best way of celebrating oh, Valentine's know, Day? Home style. Yeah. Make it yourself. Go on a picnic. Pack something really nice. Doesn't have to be expensive. Doesn't have to be extravagant. It can just be what you like. And you're going to do it together. But I can, you know, you I can, make it sound simple because <laughs> you're a pro. So, so help no. us out. Give us some ideas on what you can do. So simple. Very I mean, simple. Yeah. Just your, your idea of what is nice food. You know, pack, pack the stuff that you would normally eat for, for um, dinner. Mm -hmm. um, and just go and sit on the grass. Even in your own house, go sit outside. Yes. With a bottle of champagne and your own little blanket and whatever. Well, take you know? that, that little coffee table in the middle of the yeah. living room out of the way. Yes. Leave the mat there. Make like a Christmas bed kind of vibe. Yes. Put some candles around it. Some bubbly, whatever you sounds like. Fantastic. There we go. Am I on the, that going on the right That sounds fantastic. Tip? Okay, yes. fantastic. How about you share some tips with us at home? Give us a call on 021-430-9881. Tell us how you go about making Valentine's Day very special for you and that person in your life. So what do you have yeah. for us right now? What, is, what am I looking well, at there? Well, we're going to be making something a little bit later in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, but this is one of the things that is is actually that easy to make for us. It looks so very, very fancy. So nothing about this not is actually, easy like, to it's me. It's like two ingredients. It's not fancy at all. That's what I'm talking about. It doesn't have to be fancy at all. All right. So can you think of anything less romantic than sitting in a packed restaurant with the two of you, <laughs> with a whole bunch of other couples? No. <laughs> there's no. no me time. There's no you time. When you, <laughs> when, just... you, when you put it that way, it <laughs> really see. does paint quite a stark contrast of what you would think is romantic on Valentine's exactly. Day. Exactly. All right. So you need to be original, and we're going to be helping you with some some great ideas here in the kitchen and please share your ideas with us as well 021 as we celebrate Valentine's Day on the culinary hotline bling sing 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 it's my feel good show call us on your cell phone culinary hotline bling all right, while Joanne Strauss is hogging all of the spotlight in the studio yes we see you Joe we're here in the kitchen with the Valentine's edition of the culinary hotline bling! Sing, sing, sing! All right, we've got a call on the line, Angel. Ooh, uh, exciting. Alan uh, from a very dry Cape Town. How's it, Alan? Good, Kathleen, from yourself. Very, very good. All right, so what is your, your comment or what, what advice do you have for us um, concerning Valentine's Day? Well, I'm considering it's my wife's birthday today. Happy birthday! Um, <laughs> I'm doing something very special for her today. She's never been, so I'm taking her to jail this morning. You're taking her <laughs> What? <laughs> no, 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 listen. I'm taking her to Robin Island as a very first oh. time. She's always wanted to go, so I'm doing that for her birthday today. That is absolutely wonderful. What a memorable that, experience. That awesome. Does she know she's going to jail yet? Um, so I think she knows now she's sitting in front of the TV, so <laughs> surprise. <laughs> surprise, baby. <laughs> Dude, that is absolutely Aww. brilliant. Uh, enjoy the moment spent there on that uh, iconic island, man. Guys, just one more thing. Thanks for a wonderful show. Happy birthday to the love of my life. Have a great day, guys. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Ellen, for the win. 
That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> take your, take your bait in jail. Okay. Um, <laughs> so um, chocolate is a very popular thing during Valentine's it Day. Is. What is the deal with that? Why? I don't know, but I don't care because I love chocolate. <laughs> no, it's apparently it stems back from Victorian times. Yes. Um, where there was a sort of people wanted to they gave flowers. It was very big to give flowers, chocolates, confectionery, mm -hmm. and whatever. And then obviously advertisers and etiquette books jumped on that. Uh huh. Um, and they were like, okay, let's sell the stuff. Oh. Okay. So, I mean, it's been going on forever, hasn't it? And now it's, that marketing gimmick worked very, very well because exactly. now we're all into it. By the way, if you want to be like <laughs> Alan and give a shout out to your love as well on the culinary hotline, bling, ting, 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 do, do that. It. Give us a call on 021430981 and ask us, uh, you know, questions about ideas of what you can do. So, this is an idea that you yes. brought with you. Tell me about how to put this together very quickly, very simply, in order to make Valentine's Day okay. special for you. So, this one. is a love, it's very rich, so actually, you need a very tiny amount. So, what we've got is some sour cream. Uh huh. Uh, which is quite nice because it takes a little bit of that sweetness away. Okay. Um, because white chocolate is quite sweet. So we've got our sour cream. Yes. We've got some melted white chocolate here. And do you just melt it over a bain marie? Yeah, so over your double boiler. Double boiler. Bain there marie, we go. same thing. Um, and things. then we're going to pour it in. Mm -hmm. It's got like a, a condensed milk consistency to it. It does. looks like it could taste like that. And it thickens up fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is literally, you add a little bit of vanilla to this. You can add a little drop of liqueur as well if you prefer, Ooh, which is yes. always nice. Set the um, mood right. Set the mood. And then you're going to pour, that's how easy it is. It's sour cream, that. melted chocolate, and whatever flavor you like. Okay. And then I don't have a spoon, but we'll just make a Very mess. Very carefully. And then we and just pour that in. Oh, that looks delightful. Get a close and up I of that. And I would go, ooh, it's going to mess. Um, there we go. I Lovely. would stop there because it's extremely rich. Yes. And you just want a little bit. And then what we've made here is some pecan praline. And so how do you make that? It's a sugar syrup. So you make your caramel. You've got your sugar, a little bit of water over the stove until it caramelizes. Yes. Toast your pecans um, and then mix it all in together. Yes. Pour it out onto nonstick baking paper and let it set. And then you can break it into big chunks. Look at that. Which is great for the teeth. Um, I mean, it looks... <laughs> <laughs> well, you have fun helping each other get it out of your teeth. <laughs> there we go. And then you just, you can almost use this as a little spoon to sc that, that was lovely, Kat. Lovely. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can use it as a little spoon to scoop up your, oh, your there mousse, we go. really. Beautiful. Oh. Um, so, Cynthia from Johannesburg, I understand, one, or from Maritzburg, rather, wants to give a shout out to her husband in Joburg, okay? All right, so hi, if you're Cynthia's husband, <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen, uh, give us a call, 021-430-9881 if you'd like to wish your loved one a happy Valentine's Day and we'll come back again to share some more Valentine's Day inspired ideas. Look at that, that is just beautiful. Angie, yeah. yes. Okay, and quick and simple. Do it after work. It's my feel good birthday show. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary Hotline Bling. That can only mean one thing. When you're tuned in at this time and this hour, it's time for the Culinary Hotline Bling. Ding, ding, ding. Happy Valentine's Day <laughs> if nobody said it to you yet. We've got a caller on the line, Ooh. Angie. Um, I believe it is Kerry. Am I right? Oh, it's Vanessa. Excuse me. Vanessa, good morning to you. Uh, good morning, Kaleko. Happy Valentine's well? Day. I'm very, very well. Feeling all of the love. I hear your questions concern the difference between baking margarine and normal margarine. That's one of your questions, right? That's right, yes. All right, and then the other one is about the difference between... Um, tomato paste and tomato puree. I'm confused. When you use which? Okay, well, luckily it's red in colour, so it, it fits the theme of Valentine's Day. But let's start off yeah. first with the normal margarine, baking margarine. When would you use which? Okay, so normal margarine, and I assume you're talking about the sort of low-fat margarine, mm -hmm. uh, you don't use for baking. Um, it's got a lot of water in it. Uh, that's the only reason okay. it's low fat. So if you try and use it in your baking, it's going to be a mess. Okay. So you want to use, baking margarine is really just full fat margarine. So anything that says full fat or baking, you can use for baking. All right. And then what about tomato puree and tomato paste? Tomato paste is really just a concentrated version of your tomato puree. Okay. So if you're looking to make a stew and you just want a little bit of that tomato flavor, but you don't want it to be tomato-y, mm -hmm. then use the paste. And you would just use maybe one of those teeny tiny tins, even half a tin, mm -hmm. just gives you that umami flavor, that savoriness. 
Uh, whereas if you want something tomato -y, like a tomato brady, you're going to use your tomato puree because then you want lots of the liquid All right. to go into the into the dish. There you have it. Vanessa, okay. thank you so much for the call and uh, happy Valentine's okay, Day to you Thank you, guys. Thank you, you too. Thanks, Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right. By the way, earlier on we made this beautiful, it was um, sour cream and white, white chocolate, chocolate pecan praline. Mm -hmm. SMS the word uh, treat to 33728 to receive the link to the recipe and the ingredients list on your phone. But Angie has another uh, wonderful idea for yeah. Valentine's Day. Take me through this. What are we making here? Okay, this is a rose. Mm. Oh, it's a rose raspberry wine jelly or rose raspberry wine jelly. Mm. Wow, are we um, one? Got all of that wrong. All right. Anyway, do it before <laughs> you leave. Before you leave home today. Okay. Because it needs to sit for a, a few hours. Okay. And then by the time you get home later, ta-da. All done. All okay. right. Okay. So what we've got is we've got some juice. Any yes. any berry juice will do, and you can make this any flavor you want. Excellent. What, do you, what flavor are you uh, using? Here? So I this is the clover crush berries. Okay. Cool. Berries. Okay. Excellent. Uh, berries and sugar, and you just cook that over a medium heat until your sugar's dissolved. Yeah. Doesn't it doesn't take too long. As Pretty soon as your sugar's so dissolved, you're going to add the gelatine. Which you can literally be making this right now yeah, very quickly. Exactly. At home. It's already I've already soaked the gelatine and we just let that uh, melt. Of course the stove is not it, on at is the it, moment. It, it, so it's don't not tell working. people that. The stove <laughs> always works. Um, wait, is it important to soak the gelatine? Um, yeah, you always soak gelatine first. So you take a little bit of water, sprinkle your gelatine over until it sponges. Mm -hmm. And it's called sponging the gelatine. Okay, good. Um, as soon as that's done, mm -hmm. then you're going to add your sparkling wine. And you can use whatever you want. We've got a nice... Uh, and this is a real sparkling wine, by the way. It really is. <laughs> um, so you add that, and then you've got a lovely liquid. Mm -hmm. And that is your jelly liquid. And if, if, if you are somebody that doesn't uh, consume alcohol, you can use, of course, like a, a non-alcoholic rosé exactly. or Maybe grape something, juice. Or something fizzy, a nice yes. fizzy grape juice would be there lovely. And then you've got a bit of fizz. Yes. And then we've had some raspberry soaking in a little bit of liqueur. And, Yo. Uh, you know, it's Valentine's, Day. It's Valentine's Yo. Day, you've got to get going. Okay. Um, and then, <laughs> Graham likes that idea. Um, and then you're going to pour, so what you'd actually do is just chill this, this chill this liquid over a bath of ice, just so that it's not hot. Okay. Um, and then you're going to pour that in. Like Your pouring skills such a are mess amazing. Not. And then that goes into the fridge mm -hmm. to set while you're at work. And then by the oh. time you get home, you've got a beautiful jelly for dessert. Boom. And just like that. And an even quicker tip is to take a packet of jelly powder. Yeah. Yes. Read the instructions, and where it says uh, cold water, just replace it with the champagne. Oh, there we go. Then you All don't right. have to have so, any of the rest. <laughs> SMS the keyword dessert to 33728, and you can make your own sparkling rose jelly with raspberries for Valentine's Day. And there we go. Look oh, look at that, Angie, you beauty. <laughs> Culinary Hotline Bling. Ting, ting, ting. We'll return. It's my feel good. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can all, all right, it is the last culinary hotline bling. Sing, sing, sing. sing, sing. sing. Joey okay, Stars yeah. is in the kitchen. Can you believe That's why everyone's like, sing, sing, sing. Oh, I'm, I'm just enjoying the love and affection today. This is beautiful. You're everyone's favorite, Joe. Oh, uh, listen, we've got a caller on the line uh, who wants to quickly just expand on an idea Ooh. that she has for Valentine's Day. Um, I think, is it, who am I speaking to? Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. I'm like, it's me. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, Vanessa. All the better for hearing you this morning. Happy to you, Joanne, and oh, you And to okay. you, love, love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd like to ask uh, Angie a question, please. Yes, go ahead. Okay, Angie, I'm proud to make rice crispy treats, okay? And they always come up soggy. Oh. Now, I want to make rice crispy treats tonight for my husband and put them in white and, and like dark chocolate with some pickles over. Mm. Okay, oh. with a bottle of champagne and I want to make a little brass for him. Please just show me how to make rice crispy treats and cake. I'm so glad you're going to be a dad and it's going to be a boy. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, I Vanessa. You. Thank okay. you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, so bye. Let's, let's help uh, Vanessa with her, her soggy bottomed Rice Krispie treats. Because we don't like soggy bottom. No, 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 no. I think it's just the ratio of the ingredients that you're putting into those Rice Krispies. Yeah. So a little bit more marshmallow, a little bit less of the canadian milk or the cream or whatever you're using. And maybe add some melted white chocolate to it because that's going to firm the whole mixture up. Okay. So, yeah. And right for Valentine's Day with the yeah. chocolate because she wants to do chocolate she wants to do the whole case for the hubby. And the champagne. Well. And the, she's a good, she's a keeper. She's, she's amazing. You know what?
not husband. I'm taking, I'm taking wife Fee. tips. I'm taking wife, wife tips. Yeah, this yeah. Is, speaking of which, this morning a question came up, uh, Joanne. Have you ever not received a Valentine's Day gift? You know what, Kat? I've always believed in, like, you have to love yourself. So even at school, and I'm admitting this for the first time on TV, I would send myself roses and no cards way. from my <laughs> secret admirer in case I didn't get any. And some years I did only get my wow. ones. <laughs> wow. Wow. Talk you about know what? I'm confident. I, I don't want That's to. True. I, why, why should you wait for somebody else to love you? Love yourself. Like, let's talk right. about started from the bottom, now we're here. You know Boom. what I mean? But okay, so what happens now, Angie? If you've literally just woken up right now, you've tuned into Expresso and you've realized, oh my goodness. Oh. It's yeah, Valentine's Day. You haven't done anything. <laughs> mm. Are there any last minute ideas that you could share with well, us? Well, very quick and easy. Take some strawberries, as we've done here. Ooh. Dip them in some chocolate, and you've got little strawberry chocolate hearts. That's uh -huh. quick. Put them on a plate, and that can be your dessert. Okay. And good. sparkles. I see you've got and sparkles well, there as well. You've got to put sprinkles go. on everything. You've got to put sprinkles yeah. on. And it oh, looks, it looks so jean jean jean. It does. It just does. It's got a certain je ne sais quoi. It's got a certain thing. Oh, yes, I feel in love. Sorry, Angie. <laughs> <laughs> she just broken Angie's train of thought. Okay, totally. so from the chocolate to what else? Okay, so a similar trend would be to take whatever biscuits are your favourite, um, dip them as well, just pour some chocolate over, and then again, little sweeties like Smarties and Jelly Tots and whatever, yeah. and make like a sweetie biscuit. Oh. Put it in the fridge to set. I mean, the kids would love the that. Kids are going to love that. Yeah, because you've got to show some kids love to the kids love as well. Valentine's Day. Yeah, and they've got to understand from the start. Yeah. yeah. The love and the treat others. And, yeah, there we go. Show love, show and love. And then, of course, we always forget the men. Mm -hmm. So we have a little Thank man. Thank you, Angie, for remembering the boys. <laughs> A man bouquet. So <laughs> a man bouquet. What is <laughs> a man bouquet? <laughs> That's beautiful. So whatever your favorite treats are, you could put like you know those teeny tiny tots of whiskey, yeah. some lint balls. We've got some of these pretzel sticks and biltong and oh, drill balls. And that's whatever. very romantic. Yeah. I mean, like any man's going to love that. Absolutely. And Joe, <laughs> what, what are some of the things that make Valentine's Day special for you? The simple things. For me, I, I absolutely believe in spending time with a person. So yeah. even if you can't afford a bunch yeah. of flowers, take time out and say, let me make you a cup of tea, rub your feet, and let's just show each other some There love. we go. Hmm. That's the way to do rub it. Rub your feet, said with this particular <laughs> emphasis at this time. Yeah, my feet need some rubbing. So, Happy, I'm coming home just now. <laughs> Angie, thank you so, so much. And of course, Joe, thank you so much. It's great having you here. That was the Valentine's edition of the Culinary Hotline playing Ting Ting Ting.